tutorial. We have just finished passing all of our tests. Okay. Um, if you didn't pass all of them, make sure the formatting is correct, everything is wrapped where it should be wrapped. <clears throat> all right, so now we are going to create the user face. So instantiating a Web3, um, there's already a folder uh, file in here that they created under source js app.js. So we're going to open it. Um, <clears throat> everything is wrapped within the app object. So everything is going to be contained from here to here. Okay. <clears throat> so this remove the multi-lane uh, comment from init web3. This is init web3, and these are comments. And we're going to copy and paste this. Here. OK. <clears throat> All right, so we have this. And then at Web3, next thing is going to be to instantiate the contract. This is going to go in the init contract part, init contract here in the comment section. Perfect. And then next one is going to be mark adopted. Mark adopted. <clears throat> Okay, so that's within our mark adopted there. Okay. Next one. And again, I don't know how many times I have to stress this, but <clears throat> read all of this so that you know understand what's going on. This is just a quick tutorial so that everybody, anybody can just be up and running with this and see how easy it is to get this started. Um, this is gonna go under handle adopt right here. <clears throat> all right. Handle adopt. Wish it would auto format. All right, sorry, it's contained within handle adopt. <clears throat> All right, so replace it with the following, good. So now we're done. Now we're going to interact with the DAP in the browser. So with MetaMask, I'm sure we all have MetaMask accounts by now, so we're gonna need to switch accounts. In order to do that, um, if you're already logged in, just click uh, lock so that it locks up your account, and then it should take you back to this um, regular home screen. One second. And it's going, we're going to import our secret phrase from Ganache. So it's going to, the way to find that on the Ganache app is here. The mnemonic is at the very top. I covered it up because I'm not sure if everyone is like supposed to have a unique one and if we're not supposed to share it like a regular one. So I'm going to pause here and I will restart once I have entered the mnemonic uh, secret phrase. Porting the seed phrase from Ganache and creating a new password. Um, you should see yourself back into the MetaMask account, but now we are going to switch it from the main Ethereum network to uh, the custom RPC, this one right here. So we do custom RPC, and here for new network, we're going to give it the name new network. I kind of, I did it already here, but um, we'll do another one. So we'll call it... New network two since I already did that uh, for the let's see we'll enter this for the new RPC URL it it's gonna give me an error because I also already used this chain ID for the other one but you're gonna fill this out and then you're gonna click save right here um, it'll show up for you but it's not showing up for me because I already have all of this information saved here on my original new network new network so after you hit save. Um, the new network name at the top will switch over to say the new network that you're on. So uh, back up here and I'm going to switch over to the new network. That's because I already created it. Yours should automatically take you to the new network. Close out of settings and as you can see in our new network we will have what, approximately 100 ether minus a few ether that they took away for gas fees. So uh, now that we have our Ganache account set up, um, installing and configuring light server. So this already came in uh, out of the box. Uh, you'll see BS config JSON here in your root directory and the package.json2, which has um, light server, which will help us connect to the web server. So any browser. All right, so now we are going, we are ready to use our DAP. 
So we're just going to hit npm run dev, and it should automatically launch this site onto our web browser. Now, a MetaMask wallet should pop up asking us to connect, and we do want to connect. Otherwise, we will be unable to um, interact with the application. So we will connect. View the addresses of your permitted accounts. Sure, connecting. All right, there we go. We are connected. Now we can interact with our DAP. So we can go ahead and just adopt a puppy. They're pretty cute. So new address detected, click here to add your address book. So we do want to adopt, just to confirm. Okay, so click the adopt, you'll automatically click, um, be prompted for the transaction, submit approval for the transaction. Okay, so let's confirm that. And success. Transaction confirmed, we have now adopted Gina. So let's see, it should say uh, success, and if it doesn't, try refreshing the app in your browser to trigger it. So now in our, back to our account, I think we should have less ether, contract, contract interacted, activity, adopt, here is our activity. I think it might take a second or a minute for that to show up. I'll even refresh it. So there we go. Congratulations, you have taken a huge step in becoming a full-fledged DAP developer. This was a brief, um, quick overview. I highly, highly recommend that you read everything th thoroughly to understand what's going on. That way you know, you know um, which files are where you have to make changes like, for example, I think mostly um, in the contract will be where you'll be making most of your changes. And um, this one, uh, because it's not going to be called adoption, it's going to be called whatever your app is probably called. And these will be the functions that you'll be changing to make it uh, work for yours. Um, so good luck, everyone.